Hi, this is Tina from freetraffictips.com. I wanted to show you a little bit about some of the things that you can do with Google, and today I'm going to show you how you can learn more about your site using info. Uh, I believe they call them search operators. Info colon your site name.com. So if you owned Google, you lucky so and so, it would be google.com. So this is the info page when you type in colon. Info calling your uh, user, well, not your username, duh, your domain name. It gives you an information page from Google that tells you all the info about, about your site. It'll give you, here's the home page, the description it has for your home page, and the URL or the link to your home page that it has in the index. It will also tell you, you know, Google can show you the following information through this URL. And it'll show you the cache which is a copy of the picture that Google has saved uh, about your site. It will show you web pages that are similar, which is, you know, useful in a way that we're going to talk about in a, in a minute. It will find web pages that it says link to you. And yeah, all of those sites link, but there's usually several more sites that link as well. Sometimes it's off by thousands of, of, of pages. And this is because Google is only counting, you know, certain types of high-quality links back to your site. Um, I keep forgetting to, to um, figure out a way to put into words what the exact uh, difference is between what's linking and what's containing the term. Um, but I'm going to get back to that in a second. It will also tell you web pages that can be found from your site, which means that Google has um, not just found them, not just included them in their, not just found them, not just included in them in their database, but made them available for people to find in Google if they wanted to. Uh, there's sometimes, you know, a lag of sometimes a couple hours to a couple days between what Google has found on your site and what's to include in its index and what's actually available to people uh, once it's been, ha been found, you know. Like with anything, like, you know, just like if you, you know, put out a book or something and it became available at the library, there's a time when the library receives the book and it takes, you know, whether it's seconds, minutes, days, or hours for it to get from just being received and sitting somewhere to actually being available for, available for people to check out. Same kind of thing, much shorter window. Uh, find pages that contain the term of the um, URL in question, which would, instead of google.com, would be your site. So these are exact matches for your term, uh, for, for your domain name, and also, you know, it looks within hyperlinks. So this will give you a closer number to all the sites that are linking to you. But also keep in mind that anywhere it sees your domain name and it's not linked in that format, it'll still show up. So... It's closer to the number that you would get by using Yahoo Explorer to, to um, investigate your site, but it's not an exact match. So, without any further ado, let's talk about what all these pages look like. The Google cache looks a little something like this. They'll tell you, here's the page I'm looking at. When I went to that site at this time, it looked like this. And here's a link to where um, the page is, right? what the page looks like right now. And if you want to know more about what we're doing, click here. It also gives you a text-only version. And, you know, when a site goes down and you're trying to find information, this is somewhat useful. But as a webmaster or site owner, this is useful to you in that you can use this to kind of figure out how often Google has been coming by your site or between this and your server logs when it will be back. If you look in your server logs or your website statistics and it says that, okay, Google is on my site today, and you're not really sure if it's going to come back tomorrow, one thing you can do is look at the history of the, the number of times it's been crawled in your, um, in your website. It, was, it will often show you, well, when was the last time Googlebot, which is Google's web robot or web spider, uh, it'll tell you, okay, well, how long has it been since that happened? But also, um, you can, if it's a brand new site, especially this is useful, you can look at, the, the date on the cache page. It'll tell you the date and the time. Uh, and I teach in one of my books about blogging how you can use this date and time to figure out exactly when you can get your page picked up 
within about half an hour uh, by the Google um, Spider. It's not as revolutionary uh, uh, or as big as a deal as it was, you know, several years ago. Because now, when you submit a site map, if your page is suitable, you get immediate inclusion. However, I always think it's better to get your page included from being linked from someone because Google will often look at that information that that link carries and factor in the value of the page that the that is linking to you into your ranking, whether or not you should be ranked, how to classify your site. The way it picks up information sometimes affects, in the long run, how it receives and classifies the information. No, not how it receives, not really, not technically, but by how it receives, I mean how it um, interprets the information that it gets and, and how it interprets your site and what it wants to do with the site and the documents it gets from links. So it's much better to get links to get spidered if you can possibly pull it off. But however you get spidered, this will tell you when that happened. And may it also help you estimate, estimate when it's going to be back. If your site doesn't change that often, this is not that useful. But if you're you know, submitting blog posts, like say you're an affiliate marker and some product came out two days ago and you want to rank number one for the reviews on that, site because you're going to put an affiliate link in your in the body of your text. It may be a good thing to know uh, when the spider, you know, comes by and if it's picking up your information and if, you know, you can get there first. Maybe you can. Um, or to know that, okay, well, I did this two days ago and it's still not showing up. Maybe there's a problem. That's also another way that it might be good. So, good information to have. The next thing on the page, and we'll go back to the page so you can see it, is the pages that are similar to google.com. Now, and you can get to this directly by typing in related in the colon, 